Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. Uh, my name is Salman Francis and this is the sixth video of our LZH Project series. And today uh, I would like to share with our new users the Linux directory structure. It's very important that we should know, we should understand uh, how Linux is, uh, like what is the directory structure of Linux. So let's start. It's going to be a short video. So let's start. First of all, we would like to see the root directory. It's denoted by a forward slash and let me press enter. So it's uh, the root directory is denoted by the forward slash. If we would like to go in this directory, we will change the directory with the forward slash, press enter. And if we uh, type pwd, which means print working directory, it will show us that we are in the use, uh, root uh, directory right now if we want to go in root users home directory we will type cd forward slash root and now we can see that the sign of forward slash has changed to the tilde sign which say uh, uh, which means that we are in that roots uh, home directory okay next next directory i would like to share is the boot directory we can go in cd forward slash boot and over here, this directory is the main uh, directory for Linux kernel and uh, the grub. Grub is Grand Unified Bootloader and CentOS 7 uses grub2. And we can edit uh, our grub2 from another directory which is etc. Okay, uh, so talking about etc, etc is like that sectra directory and most of the configuration files are found here we can see by just ls and we can see that the most of the files over here are ending with dot conf which stands for configuration this is one of the most important directory uh, linux users and administrators use so i would really recommend you guys checking this directory and but don't try to make any changes to the file until and unless you don't know about it so anyway, so the next directory I would like to mention is the var directory, cd slash var, let's ls, and var stands for variable and basically this directory, it's variable because it's not constant. It keeps on changing because it has logs and logs increases. So this is a very important directory and if you would like to go and check the logs, you have to go in logs and then press enter and you can see we have a lot of uh, log files over here d message uh, secure and we will like in future video we will talk about these uh, log files but this is just a introduction so if you type pwd we'll see we are in var log okay next directory i would like to mention is the op directory or optional uh, it's empty by the way and but I, I like to use it to download RPMs or the packages and uh, like TARS so I used to keep them in optional and you can do the same or you can uh, if you like you can use it for any uh, purpose storage or something like that okay next directory I would like to um, mention is home directory it's users home directory uh, let's say we have a user uh, let's say uh, let's create one user and okay so we have created one user now if we will go to homes you can see ls and now you can see that we have two users over here lzh dash users and salmon so basically slash home is the directory where uh, you can find all the users and then you can go in this users directory and basically this is the place where users store their data okay so now next directory is slash bin it stands for binaries it has all the binaries which can be execute to executable by normal users and then we have 
the sbin directories this is system binaries and it's executable by system administrators or people with higher privileges okay then we have last but not least temp directory and from temp you know that it means temporary directory like basically uh, all the temporary files are stored here so this is the introduction of uh, linux directory hierarchy or the structure and i hope you understand the basics and in future we will deal more about these directories but uh, at the moment it's uh, that's it and please do subscribe and in i will see you in next video and it's about uh, the vi editor thank you goodbye